We're all old deal. Let's go. <gasps> Yo, look! Look at this! This is the stairs. Oh. <laughs> What is up, fam? Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to my life movie. I got Tiffany here with me, and we are in the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. And oh, there's another one. And we are exploring a haunted mountain town and also exploring some bears. I've never been this close to this many bears. Look at that. Just eating some of those plants over there. I wonder if those plants have any like berries or something on them. Like something sweet. So you can become nice and strong like a bear. That is so cool. Want to go pet him? No, I'm okay. So we're in a national park right now, and we're headed towards a. It's a ghost town now. It used to be a livable area known as Cades Cove. It's also still to this day known as Cades Cove. Some of the ghost stories are really, really cool here. I have been here before, but I didn't know that this area was haunted. I explored a little bit of this area with James. Unfortunately, we didn't really get to do an investigation. We just kind of went through one day and I did some drone shots, which was really nice. Now, my favorite story here, which I guess it happens to be true, is about the cussing cover. There's a lot of info on this story, so I'm just gonna do this for you. Long before the establishment of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, the Steps were one of the families that called Kate's Cove home. Mavis, her husband Basil, and their children lived in a cozy two-bedroom cabin along the Whistling Branch stream. The Steps enjoyed a reasonably happy life in the valley. Although Mavis was plagued with a persistent fear, she was absolutely terrified of being struck by lightning. Mavis had been born during a thunderstorm, and according to local legend, she was thus fated to be killed by a lightning bolt. Due to her anxiety about stormy weather, Mavis never stayed out in the rain and banished metal beds from her household. Mavis even refrained from using her quilting needle when it was thundering outside, which wasn't easy because she loved to sew. Of all her many quilts, Mavis' favorite patchwork made with pieces of one of Basil's shirts, a red flannel. Mavis called her masterpiece the cussing cover because Basil had been wearing the red shirt during the couple's first marital spat in which Basil had used some colorful language. Ultimately, it was not lightning that took Mavis's life but a severe illness. When it became clear that she had little time left, Mavis gave Basil permission to remarry, but she implied him to promise her two things. First, she made her husband swear that he wouldn't sell any of her beloved quilts. Second, she insisted that he never place any of her quilts on a metal bed. Basil agreed to these requests and Mavis passed away shortly thereafter. Less than a year later, Basil took a new wife, Truly Jane Lawson, a much younger woman who also lived in Cades Cove. Truly Jane was a large gal, and she found that Mavis's old wooden bed simply wasn't big enough for her. After some prodding, Basil agreed to buy a new metal bed for the couple to sleep on. On one faithful evening, when the weather was particularly cold, Truly Jane asked Basil if they could use one of Mavis's quilts to stay warm. Ignoring the promise he made to his first wife, Basil allowed Truly to bring a quilt to the metal bed. Truly chose the cussing cover as she was quite taken with its distinctive pattern. In the middle of the night, Truly Jane awoke to a startling sight, an apparition of Mavis standing at the foot of her bed. The specter locked eyes with Truly and started screaming and cussing up a storm. Truly woke up her husband in a panic, but when Basil was roused from his sleep, Mavis had vanished. Despite Truly's protest, Basil assured his wife that it must have been a nightmare, and they both returned to sleep. Just a few hours later, a brilliant flash of light burst into the steps home and knocked Truly Jane right out of her bed. When the smoke cleared, she found Basil lying on the floor, burnt to a crisp, where the metal bed had once stood. The rest of the cabin remained untouched, and the cussing cover was in pristine condition. Oddly enough, there hadn't been any thunderstorms in Cades Cove that night just a stray bolt of lightning that ended Basil Estep's life. After Basil's death, Truly Jane didn't want anything to do with the Mavis quilts, so she gave them to one of the Estep daughters, who in turn sold them to a collector. As the story goes, the cussing cover is still out there, possibly for sale in a shop around the Smokies. So if you happen to come across a quilt with pieces of red flannel in it during your vacation, buy it at your own risk. 
So if you come to the Smoky Mountains and you go to like a secondhand store, maybe a garage sale, and you come across that flannel quilt has like red colors on it, it's probably haunted. If you do end up with it, send it to me. No. Why not? <laughs> you know that Florida, well, where I'm at in Tampa Bay, Florida, happens to be the lightning capital of the world. I just thought that was a really cool story. It goes to show you, though, that sometimes our anxiety can get the best of us. Sometimes, I mean, just like what happened with uh, with Mavis, I think that was her name, Mavis. They told her that she was going to die because she was conceived during a thunderstorm, and they said she would die during a lightning storm and get struck by lightning. And in essence, I, it's like she used that power as a ghost to curse her her husband, her widowed husband. When we get out here, I'm gonna try to make communication with Mavis's ghost, maybe even Basil's ghost. Let's see what we get. There is a little bit of a ghost town here and some of the structures do remain still. There's an old church with a cemetery behind it. There's a couple of cabins too. I haven't done much research on, I don't know how to say their last name if, it, if it's Estep or Estep or Estep, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm unsure of the cabin that they stayed at. I mean, who knows, it might not even be here anymore, but there's tons of houses here that I'm gonna take you into and the, the place is cool. It is haunted. You guys might see or hear something that we might miss, so please let me know here in the comments. Hope you're ready for this investigation. Let's do this. reason why we're here during the day and not during the night is because Cades Cove it's on a national park property and can't really come here at nighttime unless I got special permission and that's through the government if you get caught here at nighttime too there's like a park ranger that goes through and you could get in big trouble the positive news is that anybody could come here it's a little bit of a drive up the Smoky Mountains not far from Gatlinburg I'll tell you what though on our way up here all those windy roads around the mountains if you get car sick really easily I, I don't really get car sick easily, but I, I got a little car sick. Even Tiffany got a little bit car sick and she's the one driving, but it was awesome. Now that we made it here, it's been great. We saw some horses, we saw some bear. <laughs> what in the world? Look at that, it's a little baby cub. Oh my gosh. Wait, is it coming towards us? <laughs> Whoa. You think they get mistaken for Bigfoot sometimes? We seen a little baby up here somewhere. It was smaller than that one. No, that was a like an adolescent, maybe. But it was a little baby. Here. I just thought they were so cute. I was just frolicking through the high grass, and you could barely even see them. It was cool. Look how beautiful it is out here. Just pure country in the mountains. You could definitely feel an altitude change too up here, because. Just a little bit ago, I, I kind of went running a little bit just to, I don't know if you've ever been like in the Rocky Mountains or maybe high up. It's true what they say when it comes to oxygen levels being a little lower, the higher that you're up. It's no joke. Like I went for a jog and I was out of breath for a long time. And I mean, even like my heart was racing. It was, whoa, a bug, no. Okay, what is that? No, it's like a deer flying. Ow, 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 ow. Where'd it go? I think it went in my pants. It's okay. I'll haunt it later with my caca. Something creepy about old churches. That's a pretty creepy piano. I wonder if it works. Oh, yeah, it does. cemetery right outside there and there's some really old graves you can see Tiffany right over there we're all old they are let's go <gasps> Yo, what was that noise? Maybe there's something underneath. Some animals, I mean, they do keep these doors open. I know it's a really old building. The uh, steps, or 
a steeps, whatever you want to call them. Not sure how that last name is, is said, by the way, but if they went to church, this is the church they probably attended. Let's go see if we could find their poor bee. Did you get clickbaited? Oh, poor little bee got clickbaited in the spider web. We should let him free. There you go. I'm just gonna help you out. While I was in the church house, it sounded like somebody knocked on the window or maybe a floorboard. I don't know, it was like a loud bang. It is old. Kind of reminds me of an old schoolhouse. 1871, 1894. Oh, look. Somebody left a bunch of change. There's another one like that over there. They served in the, the First World War. An infant. Hey, that's the day after my birthday. They died on March 15th. Well, that's the day they were born. So they must have died the day they were born. That, you know how sad that had to be? Like for the parents? Was born in 1859. 1859. It's crazy because just as we get here, looks like a really bad storm is coming. Still have so much more to see though. Yo, it's getting worse. Like, look behind us over there. Like the wind's picking up. I see a bunch of lightning. It's crazy because of the story that I just shared too. And what a coincidence. We're talking about the steps, you know, and, and Mavis having that fear of lightning. And then she, her ghost supposedly cursed her husband when he went against, I mean, and in, it's kind of a weird coincidence too. It was in the same night that his wife, his new wife, had seen an apparition of Mavis. Man, look at that view. That is just, that is gorgeous. And kind of creepy too. That's just beautiful. Like that's nature. Oh, so pretty. It is pretty. That's kind of different. What is that, like moose? Oh, and bear. Bear. And it shows a guy with his camera. <laughs> That'd be me. <laughs> totally <laughs> this is pretty rad. This is like an old blacksmith shop. You could see like this large blade, rusty blade there. Let me know if you guys see anything, anything really cool. That right there is not a trap for raccoons. That is a wild hog trap, which I'm sure caught quite a few wild hogs. Very similar to like a raccoon trap. You know, you put like a bait over there and as soon as they they hit it, it just, just drops down. Pretty cool. Yo, check this out. Anybody need some change? There's tons of change in here. Look at that. How much money do you think's in there? At least a hundred bucks. At least a hundred bucks. Now here in Cades Cove, I didn't know this, but a lot of the buildings have been moved, I guess, to preserve like nature and they, they kind of move them to, to like one particular place. You know, for example, there's a house right in front of me, but this right here is it's an original place. Yeah, see, there's like a house over there. I'm not sure if we could get inside of it. This almost looks like a horse stable. Whoa. Well, in case you're wondering how much it costs to get in here, it's my favorite price. For free! What's in there? Hello? Are there any ghostesses in there? Oh, there's like a creek back here. They do say that some of the most haunted places are surrounded by water because water is a conductor of spirit activity. Check this out. Oh. Oh. What is this? 
It's like an old buggy. Whoa. Oh, wait a minute. I legit thought I came across something special, but you can actually access it from this opening right here. Because <laughs> one of the panel boards were missing. So yeah, there you go. A little bit closer view of the buggy, which was probably used for horses. Wait, so is this an old tractor? I think this was used to cut grass. You see, there's a seat. Or maybe an old tiller. I believe that's what it is. I don't think it's a tractor. Yeah, but I mean, like something to do in the yard. So, so you would like probably harness this up to a to a horse. horse. Yep. Wow, that's so cool. And that would get the crops ready to plant. I'm a little bit confused. So this looks like the mill, the actual mill. I believe this is what was original here, and that looks like a giant doghouse. Yeah. Right. All the husbands. <laughs> it's a luxurious doghouse. Oh, wow. oh that's, that's cool. What is this? Maybe like a little kitchen? Snakes live in. Oh, oh it says okay. snakes might live in here. Wow, this is neat. Yeah, I believe this was a little barbecue joint. All right, we're going to walk in to this house right here. Oh my god, it looks so creepy in there. Sure you wanna go in there? Was this at one point like blocked off? Maybe. But it's not blocked off now. I think the one there's a bear. What if this was the house? Of Mavis and Basil. No, this is the Becky Cable House. Okay, the Becky Cable House. Look at this. What a cool looking fireplace. These were the original rooms. And then these were added on. I like these wood floors. <laughs> these are legit these wood are floors. Original. original wood floors. Another fireplace? Whoa. Oh my gosh. Aunt Becky, you look scary. Just kidding. Aunt Becky looks like she can make, make up a mean porridge. Now, on our way here, we did run into another church. The first church that we were at, where I took you to, was a Methodist church. And the second church, I believe, was a Baptist church. I know a little bit about religion here and there. The Methodist church was started by the Wesleys. I believe the Baptist church was started by Calvin. That was the last name. And they, they were very similar beliefs. Uh, still all Christian, of course, but the whole Methodist thing, it, it was all about, you know, it was their method of teaching, and that's how they, they got the, the Methodist name. There's probably a little bit more, but I believe his name was Charles Wesley. I said Charles. And they were brothers. What was that? Oh, it's above us. Who's there? Is that Aunt Becky? Go ahead and do it again, if it is. So she died in this house. She died in this house. She says she lived here until her death here in 1940. Wow. <gasps> okay. I'm gonna do something. You wanna go with the other ones? No, I'm gonna do a quick spirit box. I'm using an app that a lot of you can use. There's a link down below in the description. Pretty amazing, I've gotten some great responses using this app. Sometimes when you use a traditional spirit box and you're somewhere like in a remote area like this and you're not able to, to connect, this is a great alternative. So let's go ahead and ask Aunt Becky if she's here. Aunt Becky, is your spirit here with us? <laughs> Mom? What was walking above us right now? L. L? Somebody whistled. There's nobody here. Look. 
We're the only ones here. So what is that about us? Is that the spirit of Aunt Becky? It said Satan. Maybe it's just an animal. Could just be an animal. There's no stairs. They were upstairs. We haven't checked all the rooms. Okay. It's so dark. I hit my flashlight. You see? What? Well, uh -oh. what, 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 what? Just moved my shirt. Are you serious? I'm not even kidding. Something moved your shirt right I now? Look, I, I swear to you, like I went like this to reach out for your thing to help you, and it like this like shifted, and now it's working. Now my flashlight's working. It took me some time. Was so that stairs? look, this has to be the stairs right here. Oh yeah, it was. Uh, I'm guessing that this door. They have it locked up. You're not allowed to touch me, by the way. Yeah, that must have been the steps. Because there's no other. So if, what's upstairs? I don't know what's upstairs. Why don't you ask, like, whatever spirit touched you to maybe do something? I just told them they're not allowed to touch me. Well, without touching you, maybe, like, move one of these doors, tap on something, maybe walk above us. Okay. Walk above us again? <gasps> stop. Nope, stop. Oh. Nope. Yo. I'm not. I'm not going back in there. What the hell? It could have just been like the floorboard. No. Do you think it was a coincidence like we asked something? I don't know. But I'm not going back in there. And Becky, if that was you, make another noise for me. Just don't touch me. Maybe it wasn't him. Oh. There was just a light in that room. Yeah, I've just seen it. In there? Yeah. Well, I don't know where to go. <laughs> like, I don't know if I want to go in No, I've seen a light behind me. Yes, it shined right through there. <sighs> okay, I'm not going to lie. That's lightning. That's lightning. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I thought this place was just going to be like, oh, yeah, let's just go and look. I didn't expect things to like actually happen in here. Pretty soon the park ranger is going to be patrolling this area and asking us to leave. Like, it's getting ready to... I, I know we said that we weren't going to be here at nighttime, but there is a good chance that we might be here at night. I mean, I'm already using my my flashlight. I didn't even expect to use any kind of light. I wonder if one of these floorboards made that fall. Was that already laying down? Or did that no, I, I clearly seen that standing up. Here, I'm going to pick it back up. Ugh. There we go. Ooh. Wonder, wonder if there's something up there. Let me know if you see anything. <laughs> I'm telling you, just the floorboard. It's about it's about a poor, and we still have a whole other house to go look at. Let's go. Now we did kind of get stuck in the rain a little bit. Whoa! My camera is... There's an upstairs window. Oh, okay. Yeah, look. There's no way to get to the second floor from the first floor, but there was definitely something up there. It was right there. Because we were standing there, and it was up above. Let me know if you guys can see anything. Don't want to get struck by lightning. I really didn't expect anything to happen here. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't either. In the beginning of this video, I called it a life movie, which means I was just gonna do a, a just a vlog for my my vlog channel. But this is too good. This has to be going on my haunted channel. And it's during the day. <laughs> well, it's almost nighttime. We, should, we have a long run back to the car. 
Yeah, we gotta go back. We're soaking wet, y'all. And I'm still out of breath. Why do things always like touch me? You know what? If you want to get good cardio exercise, <laughs> yeah, run up here. So there's barely any oxygen. Alright, so we're going down this one lane bridge right now. Hopefully we survive. Oh, 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 oh. my god. How'd that feel? Not good. Yo, know, it's really storming out. If things couldn't get any worse. The Henry Henry Whitehead White place. place. Wow, look at that cool house right there. I figured we'd pass on the Henry Whitehead place and see if we could find. We're, we're looking for the, the Basil and Mavis house, the steps. Maybe there's another house up here. Oh no, Cage Cove is, is really big. And there's tons of roads. One thing that kind of sucks about it too is your GPS will not work out here unless you do your, your planning ahead, like ahead of time. And you can only just pick one place. Like there's, there's no internet signal out here. Maybe Mavis is trying to say hello to us. Hey Mavis, like... Whoa, whoa, stop. whoa. <laughs> Dude, oh my God. It's like right when I said Mavis. Yo, what the heck? You know what's crazy is I was like thinking to myself. What if that was her warning us to go back? What if that was her telling us to go forward? Mavis, if that was you telling us to go ahead, do another lightning for us right now. I just seen like a like a lightning, but maybe it was behind me. I don't know. You didn't react to it, so maybe I was just maybe I was seeing things. Whoa! This is gonna be the first ever communicating with spirits using lightning. Yo, you get these kind of lightning storms in Florida. Right here. Look, turn around right here, make a U-turn. I'm gonna get stuck. Uh, oh, see that's lightning. Oh, look, that's like all mud, like mudslide. It's like chocolate soft serve, you know, like a Wendy's frosting. So we listened to Mavis's advice. Obviously, Mavis is on our side, trying to warn us from what's up ahead. Maybe Mavis's house isn't even up this way. I would love to check out the Whitehead place, but I mean, it looked like it was flooded on the way there. Oh, the rings is getting worse. Isn't it kind of a weird coincidence, like the story that I just kind of told about the storm and then we get caught in a storm? It was really pretty on the way here too. It was. I mean, it was beautiful blue. We're in the Smoky Mountains, so it does get a little overcast sometimes, but didn't expect a thunderstorm like this. Sorry, Tennessee, it's our fault. Oh. Wait. Is that all flooded right there? Yes. Wait, is it? I don't know. I can't tell. See, this is how people get swept away. Oh, that no, it's just, it's just right there. Woo! Total clickbait. Oh, wait. It looks like we're going into a tunnel of trees, though. Whoa! Oh, this is not good. Good place to go into during the storm. Oh, man, what if... Lightning hits one of these trees and we end up getting stuck. Well, that would suck because we have like another two hour drive back up in the mountains. Like this. All right, I didn't expect to spend this much time here. It got dark and we did get caught in a rainstorm. And now, like, one of our biggest fears is being around all these trees. And these are big trees. Oh, wow. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Doesn't look like the roads are getting flooded though. That's, that's a good thing. But I'm worried about all these all these trees around us. Like one of them gets struck by lightning and hitting a car or something. We're kind of just a little bit lost, but I, I think we're gonna be okay. We just keep going straight. Oh, uh, hey, you're fine. Just a real steep hill. If you're gonna come visit Cades Cove, it's a cool place. Don't get me wrong. 
but make sure you have a full tank of gas and make sure you tell your friends and family that they're probably not going to hear from you all day long because there's no cell phone reception at all. What's over here? Dan Lawson place. Oh, it's another house. Yeah. It's not raining too, too bad. You want to go in there? Um, I mean, it's, it's pouring, but it's slowed down a little bit. I really want to find the a step house. Maybe it's up here. So there's other little houses out here. Let's go forward a little bit. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. There's like a little farmhouse. And I think that's either a storehouse or I believe that's an outdoor kitchen. Did that tree fall? Oh, let's go. Let's go look. Hopefully it's not blocking the road. No, it's not. It's on the other side of the road. Maybe it got struck by lightning. We had a nice, generous sized rock hit our windshield a couple days ago while we were driving. That probably, it looks like it got cut down. It's an old tree. Probably been there for a while. Aw, it's like they cut down grip off. <laughs> I kind of had to go with my gut on this. This is an unmarked house. And I, just kind of how I'm feeling. I even asked Tiff and she said she was feeling the same way. We feel this could be the Estep's house. So we're gonna try to make communication. Handy dandy iPhone light. I think that's where the steps were. Maybe. Where? Right here. Oh, possibly. Tons of like graffiti right here. I mean, would you call this graffiti? How old do you think this house is? Oh my gosh, what is that? Is that a bird nest? Oh, there's a little bird in it. Look. Hi, sweet baby. It's good, say. Hi, sweet baby. Look at that little bird. Aww. I'm not gonna hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, he's going back to his nest. He probably has babies in there. Okay, didn't mean to disturb you. There's two of them. Are those mockingbirds? Uh, I don't know what I kind of birds. Like attack me when I was. <laughs> oh, I know, right? Yo, look. What? Look at this. This is the stairs. Oh. oh, it's blocked off. Oh, oh wait, no. Is it? No, it's not. It's missing a, a step, though. And this step does not feel very safe. So I probably wouldn't recommend it. Just to be safe, you know? Look at this. <gasps> okay, that's me. Like this was someone's house. I know. Isn't that like really cool? Where are I mean, they? This is a nice size house too. It is. This is like a mansion for back in the day. It has upstairs and everything. What is this? What is that? What? Tell me that's not wicked. Those are like. Oh, like little peepholes. What do they go to? Oh, I know what these are. They're like communication pipes or holes. Maybe people would like like an intercom system. Maybe it's like they're they're people. And so if somebody knocks on the door they can look out. Oh maybe. But I'm I'm thinking it was a communication. I mean I don't know. Look at this porch. This is so cool. This was their backyard. Yeah. Do you think this building was moved here? Or it was probably it's probably been here. My camera's really good in low lighting, but I mean it's it's dark. Like it's really dark. Like the sun. It's getting ready to go down. It's about nine o'clock at night. I'm surprised there's any sunlight at all, but I mean, we are higher up and a little bit more like we're on the edge of where the time does change. I believe an hour, like this is considered East, East time, but it's almost like it deserves to be eight o'clock instead of nine o'clock, mm -hmm. right? I'm using my iPhone light, so I'm gonna have to do the spirit box and use the light at the same time. I don't know if it's possible. Are there any spirits here that want to communicate with us? Did it say hey? 
What the heck was that? I don't know. We want to talk to Mavis. Was this your house? We feel that it may be your house. Are we correct? I think it said yes, house. <gasps> I said, yeah, Mavis, are you here with us? <gasps> yes, I did. Well, we thank you for the warning you gave us. And we hear your thunder right now. <laughs> Who touched Tiffany in the other house earlier? <laughs> Harold? Harold, don't you have a little bear named Harold? I have a green bear named Harold. Is there anything you want to say to us? Hurt. Hurt. Hurt? Right here? I don't know if it said that. What about the children of the steps? Because the daughter, didn't the daughter sell that quote? And is that, is that one of the truck raiders? I don't know. It was a truck. Yeah. I don't know your name, the daughter, Mrs. Step, but were you cursed? I saw that. That was lightning. I can't see a a ghost of a spirit like cursing their children. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's really like loud. Oh no, let me know here in the comments if I mean, I think that requirement was for her husband, you know, because that was the thing is, you know, don't sell my quilts. I think it was for the husband, not the children. I don't know. I feel like if my parent made something, I, I think I would hold on to it and pass it down through the generations. I mean, wouldn't you if it was something that special? But maybe there was a an ongoing curse of the family and they wanted to get rid of it. Maybe that that quilt, that cover, maybe it was haunted. Maybe they were just trying to get, get rid of it, but I don't see why they would sell it. Perhaps they gave it away. Let me know here in the comments. I'm gonna go ahead and start concluding this video. Make sure to smash the like button if you haven't already. Like I mentioned earlier too, I do have another channel. A lot of you don't even know that I have another channel and I'm closing in on a million subscribers on that channel. I am gonna be doing a poll on Twitter soon, so make sure to follow me on Twitter because I'm gonna be doing something rather unique to my hair if I reach a million subscribers. I'm thinking of either shaving it completely bald or doing, you know, maybe just having one side hair on everything, like, you know, one-sided beard, one-sided hair, one-sided leg hairs, I don't know, you pick. I'm gonna do a poll on, on the favorite things. Maybe I'll dye my hair a really fun color, like orange or blue or green, or what color should I dye my hair? Neon clear. Ne neon clear, that's, <laughs> I think I have it neon clear right now, I don't know. But anyways, make sure to follow my vlog channel. Thank you so much again for watching. Big shout out to Tiffany for joining me on today's adventure. She, you can see from her fear, like in her eyes, she wasn't expecting this and I wasn't either. I wasn't expecting to get stuck in a storm too. I thought it was just gonna be like a vlog adventure. That's what I thought it was gonna be, but it ended up being more. Oh, what was that? Oh my God, boy. No, it was just a fly, it was just a fly. It's a movement, it's a it's My bad. Gotta go for now before you leave. Give me a kiss. Peace.